Okay, so someone wanted to know exactly how I replaced the thrust washer in one of these GE box fan motors. This fan over here is a GE F11 W16. And this one has two covers that you have to take off. It's got this decorative gold one on the outside, which you're going to want to use a small screwdriver to pry off. Um, because you don't want to drill a hole in it. Well, I mean, you can drill a hole in it, but it's not going to look very good. Because this is always visible on this particular motor. And then there is the real cover plate underneath this, which you are going to drill a hole in. Um, but if your motor is not like this one, and it's one of these which is the normal style on the bigger ones. This is an F15W13 box fan, uh, three-speed electrically reversible, and here's what the real plate will look, so look like um, behind this gold plate. Uh, this one, of course, does not have a gold plate because this is always hidden. Uh, there's four big screws that you need to loosen with the really big flathead screwdriver. And, of course, you can leave this one in so you can swing it upward if you want to, or you can just take the whole thing off. You'll have to uh, get these wires out of these clips. Um, but right now, I just have this one sit, uh, sitting in there, and it's kind of inside of one of the vents and keeping it propped up like that. Um, so what you're going to want to do is drill a hole right near the top of this uh, plate. Not exactly at the top, because then you're going to drill into the motor housing. It should be right around here. It's so like just sort of uh, between the uh, top and the middle of it. Right around there is where the hole should be. Then you're going to stick something in that hole, like a smaller screwdriver. Pry this plate off. Um, and then inside of here, you're going to find a big felt pad. You're going to take that out, and that's just to hold the oil. And then the back of the motor shaft has a C-clip on it. Carefully remove the C-clip so it doesn't go flying somewhere. And then you will be able to pull the entire rotor out. And I'll show you exactly what the front of the rotor looks like. So, of course, here's the front of this motor. It's just a unibearing. Um, you can see bearing inside of there, uh, well, sort of, but anyway, yeah, you're going to want to take this whole thing, this whole uh, rotor and shaft assembly will come out when, once you remove that C-clip. You might have to sand down or file down the edge of the back of, this, of the shaft because these do tend to stick sometimes and they won't pull out properly. But yeah, that C-clip is all that's holding this thing in and keeping it from pulling out the front. Um, and then the washer that I replaced on this one is going to be uh, right in this front area. Um, of course, you have to pull this out to replace it, but you'll see it. It is on the front of the bearing. Not th there are some washers on the back of the bearing, but um, the one that I had to replace in this one was on the front part. So it's going to be in there. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about once you pull this thing apart. Uh, and of course, you're going to want to oil the bearing up really good while you have it apart. Because these things are kind of hard to service. Um, but yeah, so basically, drill a hole in this. Do not drill it too high up, otherwise you're going to wreck the motor. Right around there, I would say. Um, of course, there's a freaking shadow there whenever I point at it, but yeah, right around there is where you're going to want to drill the hole. Um, pry it out, and then take that felt out of there, remove the C-clip, maybe do a little bit of filing down on the rear shaft to get to come through all the way, and pull the rotor assembly out. And as you can see, there's the back of the rotor spinning. Uh, the washer that I replaced on that one is going to be on the front side of the rotor. So that's how you take these apart. Um, I would have taken this off, but apparently the sealant that I used on this one uh, is a little bit too permanent. I could not get that to come off. So I'm going to have to figure out something else with that when I service it again. But um, yeah, there you go. I hope this helps you.